Alright, so a lot of people seem confused as to how my mod is actually used. So I hope this video clears things up. So, first things first, there's one issue that can sometimes happen. So you go to Options, Controls. You go down to Custom Keybinds. So if you ever get an error message that looks something like this, where you have a non-remappable command, that, that means that there's a file in your... um add-ons folder that you that you might have or in your config folder that you might have accidentally deleted and that would normally like save and like prevent that error from happening so what you have to do is go to defaults and select your settings and then click apply so then go back down and then you can bind this to whatever you want I like control one because I have a lot of other keys that are used Okay, so then, to actually use the mod, open it up, and you'll get this nice blank screen right here if, you've been using, if you're using it for the first time. Go to the new button, and you'll have a panel right here that's been freshly generated. So, in this larger box, you can type in the command that you want to run. For example, if you type in yaw300, semicolon, save, then you go to mm -hmm. options controls scroll down and you'll have a new keybind that has just appeared right here so bind this to whatever you want click done and then every time you hit R that command will be used now what yaw does is it rotate is as you can see it rotates your character 300 degrees to the right so you can do like even negative 300 there and now every time you press it, it will rotate you to the left. Alright, so then there's a bunch of other settings you see down here. So like for example, I'm going to make a new command. So if you check the to server box, then whatever you type in here will be treated as if you're typing in like a slash command. So for example, like you could type slash light and then you would type light right in there save now you go to the options controls and now you have another keybind here you can bind that to whatever you want control 2 done escape so now every time you hit control 2 your light toggles like that so then the next part is this loops thing right here if you check the loops and then this box right here, this is called the cycles box. And then you type in a number into here. And the number in here is how fast this command is going to be looped. So then you click save. And now you can hold down the 2 button, or control 2. And now it's looping through that command. If, this, if there's a number in here but this is not checked, then the command will not loop. And you have to press it over and over again. So then, like at the press versus release, every time every keybind you have has like potentially two commands because the game treats the way that you press a button and release the button as like very similar. So for example, you can have light when you press it down, and then when you release it, it'll do something like to server message sent, and then hello world. If you ever want to have like an argument that has more than one word in it, then you always you have to use an underbar or underscore right here. So then save. So then control I hit two. It's looping through that, and then when I let go, it'll say hello world like that. All right, and then up here, this is like your preference manager right here. I can save preference one like that and then load a blank list well what loading a blank list does is it just removes all the panels so if you hit the new button it'll still load whatever might be saved here it just makes it easier to manage it so you don't have like 50 keybinds going down in a row so then I can do something like um, suicide to server and then save that as preference 2 and then I can load 1 
right here and load to and I can like manage up to five preferences like that okay so now there's another thing that has just been that has just been added it's a function editor it's a pretty advanced tool that you have to know at least some scripting in order to be able to use so you click this button and you have this like graphic user uh, graphic interface right here right here these are your saved functions like I can click on this and load that and then I have all of this or load that alright so what this does is you can type in like a code of pretty much any length at all down in here and then give it a name and then you could save it and have it executed whenever so like for example the name of this is messages and what it does is it like five, first it gets a random number one through five make sure that the number isn't the same as the last thing that it used so then it does a switch right here and the switch it will say one of these five things just randomly so if I say F colon messages then save then every time I use that it'll say one of those things randomly without any repeats because a repeat will cause the chat filter to kick in and give you flood protection so then let's make a new one so um for example if we wanted function my function right here and all this will do is echo hello this is a test you can save that and then do function my function save hit that and then right here it'll say hello this is a test all right so then there's a different there's another setting right here called auto exec, exec and what this does is that when this is checked and then your function is saved for example if you had something like if you actually had like a function written in here like that and then you save this overwrite so as you can see in the console this was automatically executed like I didn't even have to use this keybind and now I can a I have access to this the function lol test whenever I want this is really useful so now you can actually like write your own functions in game so I guess that's it so just yeah have fun with that I guess okay so then there's one more interesting thing you can use this for so I'm gonna minimize that new keybind so then I could have something like mouse fire one which is click and then schedule something like 25 milliseconds false evaluate mouse fire zero which is unclick so then I could loop this for something like 50 milliseconds save make sure it's binded to a key number two I'll do something like control three done so then hit control three and you can see I'm flailing my arms faster than you could probably click a lot faster than I can click that's for sure but then like another way instead of having like a jumbled up line of code right there you can just do new function rapid fire mouse one schedule Val then save that and then instead we can do 
function rapid fire save rapid fire oh here we are that's done fire save so now when I hit this it spams it just the same as it did before so I hope this helped don't forget to download and give it a 5 out of 5 rating